welcome back to Witch Daily's Countdown to Halloween, our big Samhain countdown, getting ready for the big Samhain season, Halloween season, hoping you feel very witchy today. Um, today we're going to do a little more tarot, so we're going to talk about the misunderstood tarot cards. Today we're going to talk about the tower, right? If you can see that, move to the other side, the tower card, right? And I have mentioned many times, but I'm going to say it again, this is now called the Smithwaite deck. Uh, for the artist who created the cards is finally being recognized for her contribution. Her name is Pamela Cotton Smith, Pamela Smith. Um, and her partner was, uh, Waite was the one who wrote the, wrote the, uh, details about the meanings of the cards. And he was very well versed and very high up in the Golden Dawn and this whole like 19, 19th century movement, esoteric movement. But Pam Smith did the art and she should get credit. Even though she's gone now, she can't get royalties, we can still give her credit for her work, and we should. So, the Tower card. Let's talk a little bit. When people get the Tower card, they often are confused. When I've given readings to people, I often have had folks say to me, what does that mean? What is it about? Like, is it scary? Is it bad? Mm, tower is usually a bad, a bad sign, but it's also about judgment uh, and about kind of karma? not always like sometimes it just means destruction right the symbol is about the tower of babel from the bible so and it's about god destroying the tower so that's where the judgment comes in that's where the judgment part of this card comes in but that's not the only thing a lot of times when things are going to go into chaos you're going to see you're going to see the tower card right so a lot of people i know who survived uh who have survived natural disasters often see this card in their readings as something that's happened in the past or something that you know they're dealing with in the current state so i know i remember um after hurricane katrina a lot of my uh, a lot of the witches from my community uh, stayed with me i happened to have a house outside of the city that we could all go to and hang out in and and we thought we'd just be there for a couple of days and some people wound up being there for months because they lost so much and when we would do readings to try to see you know when are things going to get back to normal when are things when are things going to change for me this card came up all the time and it's because it's about the stress and problems of destruction right it's about things changing in that way so the tower card is not always a great card to get when you're doing a reading or when you're having a reading from someone, but it doesn't necessarily mean that things are going to fall apart or that things are going to be terrible. It just means you have to pay attention. And if you have already had something happen, um, meaning you're recovering from, I don't know, a big health crisis or maybe uh, from a relationship ending, you need to pay attention to your own work and what you might have done to contribute to this. This card usually means that those things were not completely accidental, though obviously in the sense of a natural disaster they would be, but I always look for the cards next to this card to kind of help me understand what the client has gone through or what their, um, what their experience is of destruction. So is it next to uh, Four of Pentacles or is it next to Ten of Cups, right? Like what what's next to this card is going to tell you a lot more about what the card means for either you if you're the if you're doing reading for yourself or the person who you're doing the reading for so be sure to look at the cards next to it to try to get a, a sense of what this represents to them if it's next to cups it's almost always going to be relationships if it's next to pentacles it's almost always going to be family or money if it's next to swords, it's almost always going to be career. If it's next to wands, it's almost always going to be about their vocation or the thing, the creative thing that they do, um, or their hobbies, or if they're a professional creative, like a writer or an actor or something, it's also really important to look at that, um, wands specifically. So don't assume that the tower card is terrible. It's always going to have some sort of negative repercussions. But if it's in a position where it's like telling the future or it's talking about what's to come, I would definitely be on the lookout for how that person is contributing to something that might be a fall, right? Like if they are going towards, they're having an affair or if they're, you know, getting, not getting along with their kids or something like that, I would be really paying attention to what they can do that contributes to that. Remember, whenever some, whenever someone's getting a reading, whether it's you giving yourself a reading 
or you're giving a reading to somebody else, the cards that are coming out are only the fixed point in time of where you are now. Fate is not, you know, the thing that you're working with when you read cards. You are looking at ways that you can see what's coming, but also things that you can make adjustments to and make changes to. So if you see something in the future and you want to point that out to that, to your querent, to your client, then be sure to do so. Say, hey, this isn't a bad position for you. This card indicates that there's something, some reckoning coming, and you should probably pay attention and see what's around it. You can always ask more questions with tarot cards, so be sure to do that and, and invest in what's around that card. So I always talk about reversals, so when you see this card upside down, right, when the card is reversed, you want to pay attention. It means that something's around the corner or something is you just barely missed it, um, but it's it's not usually a good sign that it's reversed either, it, though it can mean that you dodged a bullet. So if it's in a, like a past position or a historical position, then hey, whew, dodged a bullet, moving forward. But if you if you see it, especially since most witches, as we get closer to Samhain, are going to be doing more and more divination. If this card keeps coming up for you. It's it's asking you to pay attention to something that that you need to um, recognize might have a negative consequence for you. All right, that's the tower card. Um, and if you have any questions, you can always write to me at marianne at witchdaily.com or you can write to witchdailymedia.com. Somebody will definitely answer your question. Um, we also love to do videos that come from people's questions. So if you have questions, please, please, please send them to us. Um, and if you want to get these in your mailbox every day, please just make sure to sign up at witchdaily.com and you can get these wonderful countdown videos in your inbox every day. And we will see you back here tomorrow. I hope you have a wonderful witchy day.